Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, uh, or if you're new, welcome. So, today we are going to just go ahead and finish off this page, um, for this color along. So, um, we did this yesterday, this part here, um, and this the day before. Um, so I will... As usual leave all the links down in the description same as um, all the colors and everything that I'll be using um, I can't promise that there will be an order because when I color I tend to like mix them up uh, but they will all be down there so that you can pick out your colors beforehand if you want to um, and then at least there's less pencils to look through um, so I think, um, just go ahead and get started so we can go ahead and just finish this off. So I'm going to zoom in so we can see better. Let's see, I think that is good, like so. Make sure it's focused. Let's see, that looks good. And then we'll start probably where we left off. Um, so I'm going to start with the with the background part of the uh, hourglass. Oof, sorry, words not working yet. Uh, so I'm going to start with the light blue uh, that we used for the sky, and also um, the neo too, by the way. Uh, the turquoise blue uh, that we used for the water, and I'm going to mix them a little. Um, because it, it's, I would imagine it's sky, but it's still kind of under the water. So the turquoisey blue would reflect a little through, I'm guessing. <clears throat> so I still have some on my palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of mix them a little together. And I'm just going to go in like so. And you can go over the... Uh, drops if you want to do that because we'll be adding pencil into those anyways try to go around all these flowers let's see here get some of that turquoise blue into the light blue and kind of go around the leaves a little i'm going to go down to about here Let's go over that, the, the drops. Let's see here. Like so. Gonna pull it down there. Do need some more in the middle. Like so. <clears throat> um, then while we're at it, I think I am going to add some, I'm going to use some um, yellow green and also some emerald green. Uh, still using the Neos. I already had some, had, have even some emerald green on my palette so I'm just using the yellow green and grabbing the emerald green because we'll still be using it um and we'll do the uh we'll kind of mix them together a little and I'll go around here 
and it's okay if it's uneven and we'll do the leaves and also the uh surrounding stuff um surrounding glass oh my gosh i'm so sorry i woke up a little while ago and it's a very busy day so i was trying to get an early start on this so um the upload isn't too late let's get around here so if my words aren't working properly i'm so sorry not that they work anyways but sometimes they work a little better than others Let's see, let's just get all these little leaves and just kind of plop some down. Does not have to be even. <clears throat> That's what the pencil is for. To make it look more even and all that. Let's see. Trying to not zoom in too much so that you can see a little better. But still have it zoomed in enough. It's a process. Let's see, like so. That is a leaf. This is, I think, also leaves. Let's get in here, like so. Um, let's just get some in there. This is wood. I just realized. The uh, bottom of the hourglass. I didn't do that yesterday. Um, like this part right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. While I'm at it, I do want to add in some more in the background here. And we did the green and the two green mixed. And I do want a little bit more in the background. Uh, so let's just do that now. Because I did want to work on it some. And this does not have to be super even either because it's watercolory and I kind of want it to look a little watercolory. And since there's pencils there already, um, it'll just kind of slide right off the wax if you get it over the leaves there. But I do want some more color in the background because we did that on day one. Or part one um, but it's not showing up very well um, I do want a soft background but it's a little too soft so let's just add some in here while we're at it I also use some yellow I think in the background I can go in and add that later I'm not sure. I'm still wondering why um, my water brush is letting out so much water. Let's see. Background is definitely showing up a little bit better. That's good. I was worried y'all were going to think I said I did the background and then can't see it. Like so, get some in between these leaves here. I need to put some more color down. And this is just something we can also do while it's drying. Um, instead of just pausing and waiting or heat gunning. Let's work on the background some while this here is drying. Like so, get some in, in there, in here, like so. Just be careful to not do um, too many layers. Um, and if it's very wet, just kind of wait until it dries so it doesn't peel. I think mine is about to peel, so I'm going to move to the outside of the hourglass. I'm just going to do some kind of around the leaves. And now that we've gone in with pencil over the leaves, um, it's okay if, uh, if it's a little darker. I need to put some more yellow green down. Kind of just want it a little bit like around here. Didn't want it too dark right at the edges here because that 
can be a little a, a little a bit of like a harsh edge just put some more yellow green down okay make sure I'm not putting my hand in anything go around the bird Clean my brush a little, just kind of smooth this edge out. It's not the best background in the world, but it's a little, it's a little something there. I wasn't going to do a background, I think, originally. I'm just going to just kind of slap one down real quick. Like so. Some more color in here. Move this up some. Well, So, just a little bit more over here. Okay, in between here. See, I do need to put down some more of the emerald, just a tiny bit. Like so. Then I'm going to do the same down here. This will be grass. So I'm just going to grab that while I'm at it. like so i'm just gonna grab this background here probably spending way too much time on the background but do you want to get it done 
and I don't really like to leave anything out. More yellow green down and more emerald. See, like so. I think my brush is a little too wet. get that here like so then we'll do the same on this other side here maybe just a little bit more color down in here Like so, trying to do it as quick as I can. This. <clears throat> oh, my foot is falling asleep because I'm sitting on it. It's probably not a good idea. Let's see, like so. in here I move my page up a little Get these in betweens. Try to remember to get all of them.
see it looks so almost there kind of got sidetracked with the background this is not what i was supposed to be doing but i do think it looks a little nicer Like so. <clears throat> there, I think that looks way better. Um, okay, so well, this should be dry, but I do need to dry this. So I'm just going to go ahead and dry that so we don't waste any more time. And I shall be right back. And we'll keep, you know, bathing. Okay, so it should be dry. So I am just going to continue a little with the grains um and get the rest of these uh little leaves and a little bit like in between here just gonna do that all kind of green let's see there that was actually a petal but that's okay it's so pale i can just go straight over it uh, let's see i think this is supposed to be green so little leaves down here this is some in between i think i can't really tell what some of these are that's an in between it just looks like a petal this is also an in between my brush has got way too much water in it see a thing i don't even know what these are little vines or something Let's see that's a leaf uh that i think is actually a tiny flower or maybe it isn't don't know we'll just do it green because it kind of looks like i don't even know those little leaves there Let's see i need some more yellow grain get these here these are leaves Just do these green. Get all these little in betweens and the little vines here. Like so. I think I got all of them. Um, then let's, while that is drying, I'm going to get some of the russet. Let's see, let's just pull that out there. I don't need to put it on my palette, but I'm putting it on the desk, so remember to write it down in the description. And let's do the wood here. Let's see. Like so. there and then i'm going to just get my heat gun out really quick and then just dry some hopefully that is dry enough um pick up some of that sky blue and uh, mixed with the what is that Prussian blue. I still have that on my palette too. I'm just going to mix them together a little bit. 
and we're going to do the sky down here that I didn't notice uh, yesterday. Go around the mountains. Pick up some more of that. like so and then i'm going to go in with some gray let's just put that there some of that gray i think i mixed in some of the blue with the gray so some of the sky or light blue not sky blue light blue with the gray let's see like so just kind of trying to get as much base as possible Like so. That is actually supposed to be a brown. I missed a part of the tree here, I think. Then, um, let's see. Got dog hair on my palette. Let's see, then I think we're going to go in with some of the yellow Neo 2. And pick some of that up. I still have some on my palette. And I'm going to do these little um, things in the flowers. Just base those real quick. All of them. up a little bit more in there and there like so get this here and here like so I missed one I think that I think that's all then see heat gun a little bit again or you can just wait for it to dry um, I'm impatient, so I'll just heat gun it. Let's see, then we are going to use some of the purple. It looks pink, but it, it's it's called purple. And we're gonna base the flowers with this. Um, that way, we kind of bring in the uh, bird color a little in here instead of a brand new color Let's see there's so much water in my brush or in the tip of my brush Let's see here try not to get it in the yellow like so Do all the uh, flowers in this color. I think I want to stick to just one flower so it's not so busy down there. Put one flower, one color even for the flowers. My gosh. Hi. Words. Let's see, like so. Um, let's get all of them. Then we're going to start going in with the pencil. Let's see, like so. Let's 
so I do think it's supposed to be that way. I'm guessing. Okay, last one, I think. No, never mind. It's not last one. Almost last one. So, and this, I think, is probably the last one. I probably missed one somewhere. Okay, like so. I think, is that all we need for the Neo 2s? I do think it is. So, let me just put this down. And then we are going to get out uh, the light blue Pablo, uh, which is number 161. And I'm going to go around a little bit in the, in the sky here. It's kind of like so. And just kind of pull it down some just to get a little bit more color down here it's okay if you go over the uh, water drops a little let's see let's just get all up on the edge here I am going to have to turn a little. So sorry. It's just easier to get a good angle. Just very, very lightly. I want this uh, blue, light blue on here. Lighten your pressure as you go down. Let's see. It's a little uneven. I can always go in with a blender if I need to. Kind of blend it out. Let's see. edge there get the edge up here Just go over it until you are happy with it. And I'm just going straight over the water drops. It doesn't really matter very much. It can be hard to go around all of them.
Let's see, like so. I think that is pretty okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Just try to move it into frame. <clears throat> Let's see, then we are going to go in with some Malachite Green, uh, which is number 180. And we're going to go top of the drop and kind of well, top of this one. And I think maybe bottom of these other ones. Just a little. I think this one will be a little bit more. Just very lightly. Like so. Since they're so small, we're not going to do all the like middle colors. So we'll just use this one. And we kind of already used a little bit of blue in it. So um, let's see, get some here, get some there until you're happy with it. Uh, so that. And then we're just going to go straight to the turquoise green, which is 191. And we're just going to kind of go over the rest of it with that. Try to get it in there. Mine has got a wonky tip on it. Get in there. Kind of just fill in the rest. See like so. Then later on we'll go in and gel pen this, but I don't want to do that just yet because I don't want to put my hand in it. Okay, so like so. Then we're going to go in with uh, some greens uh, for all the little leaves. So let's see, probably use about the same greens. So the dark green, the emerald green, <clears throat> and the yellowish green or yellow green, yellow green. So I'm going to start with the dark green. Uh, that is number 229. And we go in the like uh, the bottom of the leaves. I'm going to put in some of this green here like where they connect to the stem okay so there um, let's just do like little sections at a time uh, let's get this here maybe okay I think that is good for now <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. Emerald, which is number 210. And just kind of go over the dark green and pull it out. And I have to do it in little, little sections so I don't miss any. Because I pretty much always do. Uh, yellow green, which is number two, three, zero. So you can just go over the whole thing from the light into the dark. Like so. There. I'm going to sip some coffee in a minute, but it might still be too hot. I went and got some while everything was drying. 
Okay, so back to the dark green. Let's do these leaves. We'll start in one end and kind of work our way down or down and over. This is all so tiny. Get this, I do think this is a leaf. Let's just do this here. Let's do it like this on these little vines just one in each one in each end so there's like a highlight in the middle um let's do this big one here follow that vine and then just kind of do it where it connects to the flower and let's do these little dots here and this vine thing these two here like so i don't want to do too much at once So emerald again, I can't remember if I said that, but it's emerald again, and then just kind of rinse and repeat. Did I get everything? I hope so. And this is the yellow grain again, just from the light into the dark. Uh, did I get all this? Kiss it. Seemed like I did a lot more. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? Clearly not me. Let me get a sip of coffee. Back to dark green. Go this, do this vine and go where the flower overlaps. I want a shadow. So these little dots here, they may be flowers, but I don't know. So I just do them green. Why not? Okay, like so. In each end here. That would be pretty shaded, I think. Like here with that vine. I'm kind of leaving a space in between the vines. It could be that it's one or a vine in between there, but I kind of like it that there's a little space there, so I'm just leaving it. Okay, let's do this last leaf here and then we will do our emerald. And I've been completely neglecting this stuff up here, so I'm going to have to do that too. See, that is a vine, actually, this here. That was just dark green. And emerald. Some of this stuff is so tiny that it's almost impossible to be able to stuff three colors in there. So you definitely need your pencils very sharp. And the pencils will blend anyways, even though there may not be a whole lot of room. They'll all kind of blend together anyways. So it's important to get them all in there. Let's see, like so kind of just dab it in when it's so tiny. So then let's uh, let's get these up here. Oh, and I'll move them a book. Like y'all can't see that. Uh, let's zoom in some now that we're doing a little smaller stuff. 
make sure it's in focus. I think that is the best I can do. Hopefully it's clear. So like so. Let's get this batch here. That is like a vine. Like so. Sorry, it's very hard to talk while doing itty bitty stuff. I feel like my nose needs to be like right down. with what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, like so. So sorry if the camera's shaking. I'm gonna get something else to hold my camera. Just need to look around. Like so, this is the emerald again. I don't remember if I said it, but same colors, just kind of rotate. Let's get this here. I think I missed it. Oh, and I missed all that stuff too. Okay, well, emerald again. I always miss something. Uh, yellow green. Keep wanting to call it light green, but it's yellow green. In polys, I think the one that would match up to this pretty good would be the uh, light green. Let's see, like so. Which I was supposed to use polys on this page, but I never, never did. Never needed to. <clears throat> Let's see. Dark green again. Let's get this here. And ah, that was a oh, that was a flower petal. Let's just get that there. Whew. Okay. Well, I'm awake. See, like so, get in the vines. <clears throat> Let's get blinders on with these, all this green stuff. Uh, maybe we'll just get this one too, and then we'll have one more round, and then I think we should be done with all the green. Do need to sharpen though, I think. And I missed some down there, so I'll have to get that. Let's see, oh, sorry. Uh, here, this is where I missed it. Right there. Like so. I do need to sharpen real quick. Was that it? That may have been it. Like so. 
last round with the grains here let's get all the rest of these leaves Well, not last round with the greens. I just realized I <clears throat> got grass down there. The last rounds on the leaves, at least. All round, even. Like so. Here. I think that is it. Um, emerald. Pull that up. I think actually maybe this is supposed to be green. It looks a bit like a like one of them little dot things. Okay, so let's go with the yellow green. to see if I, I missed something I probably have somewhere okay so while we're at it we'll might as well just do the flowers um, so we will use purplish red and uh, purple from the Pablo's. So we'll start with the purplish red, which is number 350. So I'm just going to go in in the um, little edges here, like in the center of the flower. I'm going to fade this out like so. I'm going to do that on all of these. Like so. <clears throat> Go in, kind of deepen that color a little. Kind of like a, a shade and fade kind of thing. So like so, then we'll go in with the uh, purple, which is number 090. We'll just kind of blend those together um, very lightly. See, I do want some more color, so I'm going to go back in with a purplish red. And I'm going to deepen this in the center. Just a little, because I feel like it is pretty pale. It's looking paler on the screen than it is in real life. Then just back in with this purple. Like so, and I want, let's see, what is this? Granite Rose, which is number 493 from the Pablos. And I'm just kind of go from the light area into the, into the dark and just use it as a blender. I love Granite Rose. It's one of the best colors in here. Okay, 
at least in my opinion it is. That one and the the palish blue or whatever it's called. I love those two colors. Um, purplish red. And we'll do the same thing on all the flowers. This one will be more shaded because it's overlapped by this bigger flower here. And you can go in a little, like, with a little bit harder pressure right in the center. That way you may not have to go over so many times. So, purple shred, then we'll go to the purple. Let's try not to pick up the greens. Like so. And granite rose. On the um, edges of the petals. Like so. And while we're going around, I think I'm going to grab the yellow and the Venetian red. And I'm going to put some Venetian red in the uh, center of the little pollen pokey things. I'm clearly a flower expert using technical words like that. Okay, so yellow, and then just kind of blend them together. Like so. I'm going to do the same for this one here. A little bit in the center, and over with yellow. Let's see, I just need to move some stuff around on my desk here. There. And sip coffee. <clears throat> okay. Back to the purplish red. In the centers. Pull it out a little or fade it out. It's very hard on the itty bitty ones. So I'll just do these two at, a, at the same time. Because they're so tiny. Really hoping y'all can see what I am doing. Like so. I uh, get the purple. Go over and fade it all the way out. Or almost all the way out. You can leave a little space if you want. Like so, I missed this one here. Granite Rose. Um, Venetian Red for the centers. Let me just go like a little, do a little circle. And then <clears throat> same with the yellow. Okay, so we'll do this big one up here. So purplish red. <clears throat> my gosh, my voice is going. I'm so sorry. For some reason, it will not work today. Here, like so, go around here, and then I'm going to do these little vines here. Veins, vines, veins, vines, whatever. Like so. The 
dentes. Okay, there. <clears throat> Whew, purple. Pull it out. Do a little bit more under this leaf. Like so. Put this here. like so I think I got all of them uh, let's see here granite rose again just kind of go from the light into the darker Or if you do want it pulled out, you can go the other way around. Uh, Venetian red for the little 2B looking things. And the flower. See, this is a yellow. I don't remember if I said what it was. Okay, so, sorry, i to move my page a little. Let's do the next flower, so purplish red. Fade this out. So, see, I think we can do another flower at the same time. This one isn't too big. So let's just do this one here while we're at it. Like so. Uh, let's get the purple. Yeah, this is the one. Thought I was coloring the wrong flower there for a sec. Gonna fade it out. Like so. I think I got all of it. This is kind of overlapping a little, so let's just put some more in there. And the granite rose. Like so. Uh, whoops. Venetian red for the centers. Just a little bit in the center of the centers. And then some around there. Yellow. And back to the purplish red. So, I 
and then let's just get this one here then we'll have one flower left this petal will be pretty dark it's very shaded uh whoops purple like so in here Put that up a little granite rose Put this here then the venetian red a little bit in the center on both of those yellow like so um purplish red again for the last flower you may have done them all at the same time Let's see like so And uh, there, and then granite rose again. I can't believe I'm going to finish this in only three parts. I expected to work on this for two weeks. I really did. <laughs> like so. But it's definitely the Neo 2 helping a lot with the base. So the Venetian red in the center and the yellow. And sip of coffee. Let's eat that. It's pretty much all the. Um... Let's just move this out of the way. That is pretty much all the flowers and all the inside of the hourglass. Except for some, you know, a little bit of gel pen detail, but I'll do that at the end. So, let's see, I do need the blues back, so the light blue, but I also need, let's see, the night blue, just a little, so that is number 149, I'm just going to go over the top here, and I could have started with the wood, but I forgot so let's just do the sky here by the mountains very very lightly and get up in the corner here i don't want it too dark but i do want some night blue up here kind of fade it down a little like so i don't even know if that shows up on camera but it is it is there then we're going to go in with the light blue and we're gonna go over the uh, the night blue and fade it down towards the mountains like so and i didn't put very much night blue on so it's okay if it kind of gets pulled down a little like so um let's see let's do the wood while we're while we're here uh and just kind of finish that part so it's the same colors um 
umber, which is number 049. So let's see, let me turn my page a little. And I'll go up against the glass or underneath the glass, really, like so. Just move all the things that are on the desk. Uh, down up here. Oh, I'll start coloring the grass with it. See, like so. Get this. These little lines here. Like so. Get a little little darker but if you've been following you probably already know how to do this because we've done plenty of wood on this page uh brown ochre which is number 037 and we're going to go over the umber and fade it out Let's see if it goes to the end in some in some places that is okay let's go over these lines here Wood is another one of those things that is not even. Uh, oy. Ochre, which is number 035. Go over all of this. See, actually, that is some wood there that I missed. And there is our wood uh, bottom. Um, okay, so the mountains, we need, um, I need the gray. So the mouse gray, which is number 006. And I'm going to just put some in. At the bottom along the uh, the lines just to kind of kind of looks a little bit like snow top mountains a little bit more where they overlap So, and last one here. It doesn't have to be super even because, again, mountains and rocks are also not even. Sometimes that's important to remember um, that not everything has to be perfectly smooth and even. It makes sometimes it makes things a lot easier. So we are going to get our greens back out. Um, and I need to sip my coffee before it gets cold. So, start with dark green. And I'm going to start in the back. And around the trees. And we'll kind of just use it to go around everything. I do need to shift my book a little. I'm sorry if y'all are getting like motion sick, but I'm definitely a book mover rounder. If that's a thing, I am it. Let's see, like so, get in here. Felt like I got a grain or something there. Now there's a bit of a of a streak there, but that's okay. It's okay, it happens. Feels like there's like a sand cone or something in the pencil. Um, like so. Oh my gosh, that's so shaky. Sorry, like I said, I'll be looking for something else to hold my camera. 
uh, emerald green. And pull that out. I think we did the same up here. Oh, and now I can see up here um, with the uh, island. Like so, kind of pull this out. Grass is another thing that is not even. Like so, and then the yellow green. Sorry, that's the air coming on. If y'all can hear that. Kind of go from the light and into the dark there. She says, well, when she's almost done. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing though. Like so. Uh, looks paler on the screen than it is in real life. I'm going to sharpen my dark green. Get it really sharp. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do... Um, go in with the dark green just over these little tufts of grass here. They probably will not show up very well, but they will be there. Just kind of make sure you go in the same direction. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. So we've pretty much done coloring. Now we just got a little bit of detailing to do. Um, like these tufts of grass here. Um, you'll need um, a white gel pen. Uh, like so. I think that's all right. Uh, okay, so the white gel pen, I'm using the, not that one. Where did it go? I literally just had it. Is it this one? Oh, yes, the Arteza uh, 0.6 gel, uh, white gel pen. Um, I am going to go around some of these water droplets. Like so. I'm also going to go around this here. Kind of go over the black lines that would indicate that it's clear glass. Like so. Try to be in frame. Move this up so I can move my book up some. Uh, go around these some of these drops. You don't have to do all of them. And you don't have to cover the black line completely. And then there's like little dotty things. Let's go over these little lines here that would indicate like um, rain. I mean, it's all kind of rain, but just these little lines here. Like so. I don't even know if this shows up or if it just kind of looks like it's just disappearing. Kind of just try to follow this line here. Just going to do one longer one here. And 
and I think that is good like so and with the that's it for the white gel pen let's see move my lamp over a little um oh I accidentally cracked something uh let's use the uh pentel um gold uh you can use any gold that you have Oh, but I'll be using the uh, Pentel Dual Hybrid. Sparkle Pop, I think, is pretty much the same thing. I'm going to do these dots here like we did up on the one on top, or up top even. Let's see, like so. Is it coming out? Sometimes I get stuffed up a little with the wax. There, that's so much better. And like so. Let's see, is that it? Are we really done? I think we are actually I'm trying to see if there's anything I missed, but I don't think so. I'm sure if I did, somebody will let me know. Uh, so let's zoom out. Like so. Let's move this over. And this is our completed page. Maybe we'll zoom in a tiny bit. Like so. So yeah, this is our completed page. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, we managed to even work on the background a little, which is always nice. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, series. Um, I will start a new one Tuesday. I'll put up a poll on Sunday, at some point on Sunday, so that it's up for, you know, two days before it, the poll is closed. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Toodaloo.